I'm here to meet Dr Jennifer Miller. She's a plant expert and I'm really going to need her help in this investigation. She's batty about plants, so I thought I'd bring her one. But I can't decide which one she'd like, the red or the white. Do you know, it's funny, but I guess this is what separates us from plants. I mean, we can see, we can choose between different colours and we can talk. Plants can talk as well, you know. Plants are a lot more like us than you'd think. They can do all sorts of things. Come on, I'll show you. Hey, this is going to be good. Welcome to Star Plants. And today on Star Plants, meet the seedlings that can choose a colour. The plant that can get a bit touchy. The plant that can count. And introducing the plant that can talk into this microphone. All on Star Plants. Oh, look. What's this? Now, this plant's the Mosa pudica. It's one of the most sensitive. Try touching one of its leaflets. What's happening here? Well, not only does the leaf respond to even the tiniest touch, but it's made up of leaflets which are all connected by something a bit like our nervous system. And as one is touched, it sends a message to all the others to move too. Fantastic. Let's hear it for the Mimosa pudica. So, Jennifer, what's going on here? Well, remember you said that plants couldn't choose colour? Mm -hmm. Well, I've got a little experiment here to show you. There are seedlings inside this box that have been growing in the dark, but if we switch on these two lights, we can see them on the television. Red light is shining from the left and blue from the right. The small camera connected to the television shows that the seedlings are growing straight at the moment. Well, what's going to happen? Ah, uh, wait and see. We'll come back in a while. Time to visit the Venus flytrap. Right, what's this one going to do? Well, you'll have to look at it really closely. Inside these special leaves, there are three hairs on each side. Can you see them? Yeah. Try touching one with your probe. These are the special hairs that are the trigger for the plant to close in an insect. Try it. Oh, well, nothing's happened. What, is it full? Try again. Whoa, bye-bye bug. What the plant is doing is remembering how many times it's been touched. It can remember the first touch for up to a minute. That's incredible. I guess that's so it can tell the difference between a breath of wind, a drop of water and proper dinner. Exactly. The Venus flytrap. Next, a plant that can talk? Jennifer, you're recording a plant. What can that possibly tell you? It can tell you quite a lot, actually. It can tell you if it needs a drink. There are tubes inside the plant's stalk that break when they get dry, and we can pick them up on this ultra-sensitive microphone. Listen. Don't worry. It's fine as soon as it's watered. Now, what about those seedlings? Which colour did they choose? It's blue. That's right. The seedlings will grow towards blue light, but not red. That's because they've got special sensors, a bit like our eyes. Star plants. I thank you. <laughs>